Chapter 505 Xiao by the Jiangxi. This fusion provided enough strength that his ice-date Emperor Scorpion no longer needed any soul rings. This wasn't a small thing. If his spiritual sea couldn't handle the spiritual strength of his spirits, everything would be for naught. The impact on him would also be very great, and it might be a possibility that his spiritual sea would be crushed. It wasn't possible for someone to replicate the method by which Huo Yua had fused with five spirits. He was only able to do so because his spiritual power was in the concrete material realm, and also because he possessed the three-eyed golden lion soul of destiny, as well as his spirit eye soul core. The icy blue glow slowly faded. Huo Yua only felt that he was continuously improving. The soul power in his body kept on rising. The pleasure of experiencing a breakthrough made him feel as if he were about to fly. His body was filled with strength. The remaining manifold mysterious ice essence instantly melted and fused into his body. The ice bear king's body was already stiff. His life aura had completely vanished. However, a brand new life was slowly taking form in Huo Yuao's body. Little Bai's spirit was slowly forming. The Ice Bear King was a soul beast who had lived for hundreds of thousands of years. Logically speaking, he should be able to give Huo Yuao a soul bone. But Huo Yuao was stunned that no soul bone appeared. It was just his spirit that formed. A red eighth soul ring fully demonstrated the strength of a hundred thousand year soul beast. He slowly stood up and looked at the Ice Bear King's massive corpse. Huo Yuao couldn't help but sigh. Little Bai, I still couldn't help you in the end. In fact, Huo Yuao didn't want Little Bai to be his spirit after he developed feelings for him. By becoming his spirit, it meant that Little Bai would lose his body. To a certain extent, he was dead. Huo Yuao wasn't fully confident of becoming a god. If he was able to help Little Bai overcome his bottleneck, he would have been able to live for another hundred thousand years. Just as Huo Yuao was feeling a little down, the beast god Etian suddenly exclaimed in astonishment, "Oh, what's going on? I'm dead." Who are you? I thought that some specters were venturing towards them. He wanted to take a look, but he was shocked to realize that Little Bai's charred corpse had actually moved. After this, the corpse gradually sat up. This. Who are you? I was wide-eyed in shock as he looked at Little Bai. Little Bai straightened his back. His body was still gigantic, but the charred bit started to fall off his body. After this, he let out a deep roar. His roar was very special compared to his original roar. It was much sharper and weirder. However, the specters that thought that things had returned to normal following the lightning catastrophe actually looked in his direction. After this, Who are you? I sensed some kind of special strength gathering in this direction and into Little Bai's body. His aura was increasing at an alarming speed. As the charred bit fell off his body, Little Bai's skin grew a layer of grayish fur, still flashing with dim blue light. Little Bai's eyes also turned gray, and a weird glow kept on transforming him. Has he become an undead? Who are you? I muttered to himself in shock. The Tian nodded and said, It seems so. It seems that he has been restricted by this world. It's the work of this demiplane. Even after he became your spirit, it seems like some of his spirit is still in his own body. After that, his body slowly transformed into an undead. He was originally a savage beast, which means he was very strong, and his body is still resilient enough. Although he was lethally hurt earlier, he seems to have become stronger after becoming undead. His aura isn't weak at all. Who are you? I revealed a bitter smile on his face. He didn't know whether it was a good thing that Little Bai had become undead. At this moment, a white light flashed. Little Bai, who had turned into his human form, appeared beside Who are you? Are. When he saw his original body was roaring into the sky, he was also astonished. He had just completed the spirit fusion and still hadn't sensed the changes to his own body before this situation surfaced. As the beast god was around, the snow empress couldn't appear. As a result, Little Bai ran out on his own. Who Huo Yuao was astonished as he asked Little Bai, Little Bai, what's going on? Can you sense the changes to your body? Little Bai replied, Grandpa, I'll try. As he spoke, he shut his eyes, and the gentle power of his spiritual origin cautiously extended towards his body. His body, which was absorbing the spectral aura from the demiplane, immediately sensed it when Little Bai tried to reach over. His body immediately turned around and looked back at him. As the four eyes met, Little Bai and his spectral body shook. In the next moment, Little Bai revealed a delighted look on his face. Boss, I connected with it. It's still me. I can sense my own aura. Who are you? I was confused and scratched his head. He asked, What's going on? Little Bai replied, It seems like I was restricted by the rules of this world when I tried to become your spirit. A streak of my spirit still remains in my body. Without me controlling my own body, it started to change according to the rules of this world. That's what happened. I should be a vampire, as humans would call it. However, I feel stronger even though I'm a vampire now, especially my body. However, I need to absorb more energy first. Hee <laughs> hee, I already told you that I love this place. It's great, I can live as two entities now. This is amazing. Who are you? I was also in a bit of a daze. He didn't know whether this was a good or a bad thing. However, since it had already happened, and Little Bai could connect to his own body, things were already considered not too bad. At least he wouldn't be attacked. If Little Bai's corpse was even stronger than Little Bai was originally, it wouldn't have an opponent in this demiplane and could rule the entire place. It was indeed not a bad thing. Who are you? I nodded and said, "It's good as long as you're fine." Little Bai, return to my body first and let me sense the changes. You've just become my spirit. You can't waste too much of your origin strength. All right. Little Bai immediately agreed. He disappeared into Huo Yuao's body after staring at Huo Yuao with a staring look in his eyes. Huo Yuao turned to the beast god. Titian was annoyed as he said with a weird expression, Huo Yuao, you're becoming more and more unclear to me. Tell me about the history of this demiplane. It couldn't have just appeared out of thin air. How did you find this place? After pondering for a moment, Huo Yuao decided to tell the truth. There was no point in hiding things from Titian. Although his reverse veil had respected his connection with the godly realm, Titian had still saved him on many occasions. Huo Yuao didn't like him, but he didn't hate him either. He only treated him as a target that he wanted to reach in the future. This demiplane was created by a teacher of mine. He was called Electrolux, the divine lore of necromancy. He was a noble existence that hailed from another world. Huo Yuao recounted how he had managed to fuse with Electrolux and how he was guided by him, gaining strong necromantic abilities in the process. Titian didn't doubt him or pose any questions. He only listened seriously. The divine lore of necromancy came from another world. Electrolux even had his own divine sense. All these were considered rather inspirational to Ditian. Regarding this, who are you? I didn't think it was critical. Even if Ditian learned anything from this, he couldn't become a god. All right, you've told me everything I need to know. This demiplane is rather good. You must preserve it well. It can become part of your power. Given your current abilities, you can already use it to a great extent. You must be careful in the future. Stop getting into trouble. I can't always save you. Do you understand? Ditian said seriously. Yes. Thank you, Elder Ditian, for saving my life. Who are you? I nodded at Ditian. The projection that was Ditian disappeared as quickly as it had appeared. It just vanished into thin air. Who are you? I was secretly in awe. Elder Ditian is indeed the strongest existence on the continent. When did my control of spatial power reach his standard? Little Bai's corpse was still absorbing the spectral power in the demiplane to transform itself. Who are you? I didn't dare to stay too long, as he still had things to attend to. If not for the fact that Little Bai had suddenly faced an urgent problem, he would have already tidied himself up and gotten ready to leave for Shrek Academy. When Who are you? I returned to the Tang sect in his own room, he was feeling depressed. The reason was very simple. His hair. Was that heavenly lightning so easily resisted? Even though Huo Yuao wasn't clear about what kind of effect the lightning had on his body, he could clearly see the frazzled hairs on his head right now. His hair was neither long nor short. It just reached his shoulders. Now that it was all sticking out like a porcupine, he couldn't even press it down. How could he see anyone like this? He couldn't help it. He had to take a bath again. Enough water finally restored his hair to normal. However, as he was struck by light
Catholic Academy. School had already ended, and the students were all streaming out. The gates of the academy were far more crowded than they were when he had entered for his first time. So long ago, due to the expansion of Shrek City, the entire academy was now a busy area. It took some effort to squeeze through the gates. Just as he was prepared to enter the academy, he heard some students discussing something. I heard there'll be a Sea God's faded blind date in the inner courtyard tonight, on the Sea God's Lake. Furthermore, this year's faded blind date is different from previous years. Even those not from the inner courtyard are allowed to observe the event. This is unprecedented, but I'm not sure what the reason for it is. I'm sure you don't. My cousin is from the inner courtyard. This time, the Sea God's faded blind date is open to outer courtyard disciples because it's being used as a way to stimulate us to work harder. It's only by working hard and becoming an inner courtyard disciple that we can participate in the Sea God's faded blind date. It's important to know that our seniors who take part in the blind dates are extremely talented. It would be great to have such a partner. Furthermore, I've heard that the success rate is high. A lot of seniors were unwilling to reveal their feelings when they were still in the outer courtyard. They can take this chance to reveal them all. Of course, I've also heard that it's important for one to be strong enough if they want to achieve anything in the blind date. Yes, we need to work hard. I'm going to work hard. One day, I must stand on the Sea God's Lake and participate in the Sea God's faded blind date. Let's go and get something to eat quick. We'll rush back after we finish eating and get a good spot. Otherwise, we won't be able to see anything. Hee <laughs> hee, you don't know what I'm going to do. I'm prepared to buy a magnifying soul tool. With that thing, I can even see the sleeves of our seniors clearly. In addition, it's not that expensive, either. The Tang Sector's just released a new batch of them. Do you want one? What? There's something as good as that. Of course I want it. I can still use it to peep at girls in the future. As he listened up to that point, who are you? I became nostalgic. I really didn't expect our courtyard students to be allowed to observe the faded blind date. It seems those two juniors are right. Permitting them to observe the event can help stimulate their cultivation. This isn't really a bad thing. It feels so much better than when I just joined the academy. How great would it be if I could watch the sea gods faded blind date with Donga? As he thought of Wang Donga, who are you? I felt a bit of heartache and gently shook his head. He quickened his pace as he headed towards the inner academy. The academy was very crowded. Who are you? I put his student badge on his chest, so no one stopped him. However, he knew fewer of the students now that a few batches had graduated. At most, a few students thought that he was dressed rather weirdly because almost all the students took pride in wearing the uniform of the academy. When Who are you? made his way to the shore of Sea God's Lake, he was stunned to realize that the sky was still right. It was barely evening, but there were already people seated at the better spots. He came to a spot on the shore that was close to the lake itself, and saw a young outer courtyard student just settling down. There was a mat that could seat more than ten people on ground. He seemed to have just finished setting it up, and the edges of the mat were pressed down with various items. After he finished, he tidied up the mat as he sat down in satisfaction on it. Who are you? smiled and said, Junior, why are you taking up so much space? The outer courtyard student didn't even lift his head and replied, Who says that I'm alone? I'm here to reserve seats for others. There's more than ten of us. They went to get some food, and we'll be back soon. Who are you? laughed. All of you have indeed allocated your duties well. That student laughed in return. Yes, if we don't come early, we won't have good spots. We're already so tired from cultivating every day. This is a good opportunity to relax. All of us treasure this opportunity. It's excellent to be able to witness how our seniors are going to seek love. We came here to set our targets. Who are you? I smiled and said, it's good that you're not here just to skive. However, it's also good to take a breather every now and then. Oh. This outer courtyard student felt something amiss when he heard how Huo Yuao was advising him. He lifted his head and looked at him. Huo Yuao's robe caught a lot of attention. After that, he saw the badge on Huo Yuao's chest. The badge given to the inner courtyard disciples was red. There was also an image of a Shrek monster on it. It was extremely obvious on Huo Yuao's white robe. Ah. Uh, a senior from the inner courtyard. Are you a senior from the inner courtyard? The outer courtyard student was immediately impressed. The inner courtyard disciples in Shrek Academy were highly respected. They were even more respected than some teachers in the outer courtyard. After all, inner courtyard disciples all had at least five soul rings. The more outstanding ones even had seven rings. If this was the outer courtyard, they would already be a dean. Furthermore, they were all young and extremely talented. The outer courtyard students were already talented, and the inner courtyard students were even more so. Normally, inner courtyard students rarely interacted with outer courtyard students, as they were very busy with their cultivation. So this outer courtyard student was very excited when he met an inner courtyard disciple. Who are you? I smiled and replied, Yes, nice to meet you, Junior. The outer courtyard student jumped up excitedly. Senior, I'm called Jinsha. My friends call me Sandbag. You can call me that, too. Are you going to see God's Island? Who are you? I nodded. The outer courtyard student was shaking with excitement as he asked, Will you be going to the Sea God Pavilion's blind date tonight? Who are you? I smiled. It's the Sea God's faded blind date. You've said something wrong. Err, uh, err. Uh. I'm too excited. I was at a loss for words. Who are you? I nodded and said, I'll be there. Wow, that's great. Senior, I envy you so much. I wonder when I can participate. Jin Sha said excitedly, Who are you? I saw his uniform. He was a year three or four student. From his soul power undulations, it seems like he had three rings. You'll get your chance if you work hard. Let's work hard together, Junior. I'll go and register first. If we're fated to meet again, we'll meet each other again. As he spoke, Who are you? I waved his hand before he flew up and towards the Sea God's Pavilion. Bye, Senior. Jin Xiao waved back at Huo Yuao. At this moment, Huo Yuao was already more than 10 meters away. He touched the surface of the lake with his toes as he proceeded towards the Sea God's Pavilion. So Huo Yuao, this was very easy. However, Jin Xiao was filled with admiration and envy. As he watched Huo Yuao slowly disappear into the distance, he couldn't help but mutter to himself, When can I be as strong as this senior? He can fly over water without even unleashing his martial soul. He's really powerful. He has to be at least a soul emperor. Huo Yuao naturally didn't know that Jin Xiao was evaluating how strong he was. Very soon, he reached Sea God's Island. After reaching the island, he naturally went straight to the Sea God's Pavilion. He didn't know where to register for the blind date. The Sea God's Pavilion was as calm and quiet as ever. The refreshing and fragrant air gave one an invigorating feeling. It was indescribably comfortable. Huo Yuao knelt down in front of the golden tree and respectfully cut out rice. After this, he stood up and walked into the pavilion. The Sea God's Pavilion is very quiet right now. After entering, he didn't sense anyone's aura. He couldn't use his spiritual detection either, as he didn't want to alarm the elders. He was feeling a little depressed right now. It was already evening, but he didn't know where to go for the Sea God's faded blind date. There wasn't even anyone to ask. However, at this moment, his stomach started growling. He hadn't eaten in a few days, and his stomach was revolting. As he thought of eating, Huo Yuao started to salivate. The food in the inner courtyard had always been very tempting, to ensure that the students were fully nourished for their cultivation. The food in the inner courtyard had always been made from the best ingredients on the continent, and delicately prepared. Not only was the food nourishing, it was also very tasty. It was one of the programs that the inner courtyard disciples enjoyed most. When they were still at the academy, Shrek seven monsters would constantly find excuses to come over to Sea God's Island and have a meal. They wouldn't leave without filling their stomachs, since he couldn't find anyone. He figured he might as well go to the canteen, where he might run into someone, as well as grab a bite to eat. Huo Yuao walked out from the Sea God's Pavilion and rushed straight to the canteen in the inner courtyard. It was meal time. When he went into the canteen, he saw many familiar faces. Furthermore, the food in the inner courtyard had been prepared. Some people were queuing up, while some were already eating. Hey, isn't this Huo
Who are you outbreeded Wu Feng? At the same time, he nodded at Ning Tian. Naturally, he wouldn't comment much on her gender change. It wasn't just Wu Feng and Ning Tian who were there. After hearing their conversation, a few familiar faces came over. Dai Huaqin and Zhu Lu were among them, along with Shi Wanyu. They were once rising figures in the outer courtyard. Many years had passed since then. Right now, Wu Feng, Ning Tian, Shi Wanyu, Dai Huaqin, and Zhu Lu had become the elite disciples of the inner courtyard. As they developed, the older generation of disciples, led by Jiang Lusan, Han Ruo, and Wu Ming, had already graduated. They were now involved in some enterprises related to Shrek City. Although they hadn't left the academy, they were no longer part of the inner courtyard. Among the new generation of disciples, Dai Huaqin was currently the strongest. He was now close to becoming a soul sage. Although some of the more experienced inner courtyard disciples were stronger than him, it didn't change the fact that he was one of the leading figures in the younger generation of disciples. When Dai Huaqin saw Hua Yuao, he was not as indifferent and hostile as he was before. However, he didn't appear overly friendly, either. He nodded back before pulling Zhu Lu away to get their food. Wu Feng snorted and replied, I was doing well, but I don't think you're that well. Why are you here? Are you still an inner courtyard disciple? I've never seen you cultivating in the inner courtyard. Who are you all laughed bitterly? Of course I am. I've not officially graduated. I'm here today to take the graduation test. Wu Feng's eyes brightened. Graduation test? It seems like you're confident. Our graduation test is very difficult. Who are you all said, let me try then. If I can't, I'll continue working hard. Take a seat. I'll go get something to eat. As he spoke, he turned around and went to get some food. He really was quite hungry by now. The food in the inner courtyard was as scrumptious as ever. Who are you all got a big portion of emerald sea cucumber and another portion of stewed dragon meat, as well as some hibiscus crystal rice. He found a corner and started eating. The inner courtyard disciples in the canteen weren't just people that Hua Yuao was familiar with. There were some who he didn't recognize. There were other guys and ladies who were curious when they saw Wu Feng talking to him. They were all inner courtyard disciples, but they had never seen Hua Yuao before. Naturally, they were curious. Although Hua Yuao wasn't particularly handsome, he had a very special aura, even in a canteen full of elites. He became the focus of everyone's attention when he entered. Wu Feng twisted her lips and whispered to Ning Tian, Brother Tian, what do you think Hua Yuan's cultivation is at right now? Do you think he's a soul sage yet? Ning Tian replied, I guess so. He's been a member of the Sea God's Pavilion since some time ago. He enjoys much greater privileges compared to the rest of us. Although I don't know what he's been busy with all this while, it feels like he's much stronger than he was before. Wu Feng snorted and said, So what if he's stronger? We've been working so hard recently. We'll be able to close the gap. He bloomed early. But if he doesn't work hard, he'll soon be overtaken. When we're titled Duo, we don't know who will be stronger. Ning Tian shook his head as he chuckled. He didn't say anything. In fact, both he and Wu Feng knew that they couldn't compare to Huo Yuao in terms of talent. Wu Feng wouldn't admit it only because of her own pride. They all knew that Huo Yuao had long since transcended their level. They had always treated Huo Yuao as their target. As for whether they could catch up to him, it was unknown. They weren't the only ones who treated Huo Yuao as a target. She Wan Yu and the rest whispered at this moment. I think it's going to be difficult to catch up to him. He even established the spirit pagoda. When all of you are at seven rings, are you going to choose to fuse with spirits? After hearing Shi Wan Yu's words, Wu Feng and Ning Tian looked at one another and couldn't hide their desire. They had seen how effective spirits were. Right now, everyone knew that spirits greatly enhanced the abilities of soul masters. If a spirit was used well, it could be far more powerful than soul rings. So my soul masters, Using with a strong spirit to be their origin spirit was the best. At least up until now, no one had fused with two spirits as Hua Yuan had. She Wan Yu lowered her voice. If you want to fuse with a spirit, it's best not to offend him. He holds an important position in the spirit pagoda. Even the elders in the spirit pagoda respect his opinions. If he comes up with any tricks, we'll be unable to do anything. Wu Feng was petrified and retracted some of her initial hostility to genius soul masters like them. Their future abilities and cultivation couldn't be taken lightly. Ning Tian laughed as he shook his head and said, "If Hua Yuan was so petty, he wouldn't be so successful now. You don't have to worry about this." However, I don't think he's simply back for the graduation test. Wu Feng was stunned as she asked, "Don't tell me you're talking about the Sea God's fated blind date tonight." Ning Tian nodded and said, "He might participate. Otherwise, why did he come back within these two days to take the test? Wang Dongda is missing, and he hasn't graduated. He's also single." According to the rules of the inner courtyard, he has to participate. Wu Feng's expression turned weird as she looked at Ning Tian. Ning Tian turned red and asked, Why are you looking at me? It's all in the past. Wu Feng coughed and said, Nothing. I'll keep a close watch on you. Let's go and watch tonight. Ning Tian nodded and said, Let's go. We can watch from the boat. As they were discussing things, Hua Yuan was having a good time with his meal. The food didn't disappoint him. As he ate, he felt a warm feeling in his belly, which slowly flowed out to his arms. He was feeling extremely relaxed, even though he had the manifold mysterious ice essence in his body, and didn't need to eat since he could get his nutrients from the ice essence. It was much more satisfying to gain his strength through eating. Who would not want delicacies? Hua Yuan was often starving when he was a child. He treasured and enjoyed food a lot. He gobbled up all his food and left nothing at all on his plate. Just as he was finished eating, someone knocked on his table. Hua Yuan ate his last mouthful of rice, puzzled as he lifted his head. Being disturbed while eating wasn't very proper. Initially, he thought it was Wu Feng or Dai Huodin. However, he discovered it was a middle aged man he didn't know when he lifted his head. This man looked as if he was 30 some years old. He appeared very solemn and asked coldly, Who asked you to eat in the inner courtyard canteen? Who are you? Tell me your name. What? Who are you? I was stunned. I'm a disciple of the inner courtyard. Why can't I eat in the inner courtyard? The middle aged man snorted, Do we have such a disciple? Not even wearing your uniform. This. Who are you? I was a little awkward. I'm sorry. You must be a teacher in the inner courtyard. I've not been in the inner courtyard for some time, and my uniform no longer fit me. That is why I'm dressed in something else. Look, this is my badge. As he spoke, Hua Yuan quickly removed his badge from his chest and passed it over. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.